What is up there YouTube? This is Chainman Time and today I have another rare weapon for you guys today. Now way back in 2017 I had come across what I thought was a mystery World War II weapon and this weapon was said to have been captured in 1943. But that was actually wrong. After doing some research here and there, I actually figured out what this mystery weapon was. And it's actually a World War I vintage Austro-Hungarian experimental machine pistol. And that weapon is the Steyr Model 1918. The Steyr Model 1918 was an experimental telescoping bolt machine pistol or submachine gun designed sometime between 1917 and 1918. Now, Austria-Hungary drew the First World War did have some advanced weapons projects that includes weapons like the Frommer Stop machining pistol or a pistol machine gun, and they also had several other submachine gun or machine gun or machine pistol like weapons, including the Steyr Hand M1916 and the Steyr Doppel Pistoli, which was a double machine pistol version of the Steyr Hand machining pistol or machine pistol. But one of the weapons that rarely ever gets mentioned in history is the Steyr M1918. Now the Steyr M1918 was one of the many prototype weapons designed by the Austro-Hungarians during World War I that was later lost after the First World War. Now this weapon was originally confiscated by the Allied powers after the fall of Austria-Hungary in 1918. And it was one of many secret weapon projects designed by the Austro-Hungarians during the war. Now this weapon is chambered for the 9 by 23 millimeter Steyr. It is fed by either a 8 to 16 round or in some cases a 20 to 25 round magazine according to some sources. But there are other sources that state that this weapon is pretty much an upgrade to the Steyr Hand Model 1916 machine pistol. And that machine pistol was fed by stripper clips instead of your traditional magazines. So this weapon might actually be a stripper clip fed machine pistol. But to me, it does look like it has some kind of magazine, maybe a magazine that is very similar to the German Luger. This is an Austrian weapon, keep in mind. But some Lugers did serve in the Austrian army, just like many Mauser C96 pistols. So the designer of this weapon might have been influenced by the Luger P08 pistol as well. This weapon was lost at the end of World War I. Now what happened was, at the end of the First World War, both Germany and Austria and Hungary were forced to give up many of their secret weapons projects to the Allied powers that included experimental rifles, pistols, and machine guns. Many of those weapons were actually destroyed by the Allies after the war, after they were tested by the victorious Allied powers of Great Britain, the United States, and a bunch of other countries including France and British colonies like Canada. This Steyr Model 1918 machine pistol ended up in Canada of all places. This weapon was most likely confiscated by Canadian forces in the post-war era. As one of the oldest photographs I could find of this weapon actually dates back to 1920. But in 1920, all of the Austrian firearms manufacturing companies were pretty much out of business, including the Steyr company itself, which had begun manufacturing automobiles instead of firearms. So this weapon couldn't have been from 1920, so that photograph was probably dated 1920 after the weapon was confiscated from the Austrians. What makes this submachine gun so important is that it is basically the world's first telescoping bolt submachine gun as far as we know. Now there are many other Austro-Hungarian prototype weapons from World War I that are still lost to history. For example, the Hell Regal submachine gun, which only a few photographs of of that weapon. So there are probably other submachine gun projects from the war designed by the Austro-Hungarians that we haven't seen and that may include other telescoping bolt submachine guns. Now Austria-Hungary isn't the only country that has lost weapons from the First World War. You also have many lost German weapons and even Ottoman weapons too that are listed at least in text form in some of the World War I vintage documents but the actual prototype weapons themselves are simply lost to history. 
along with the dozens of other allied weapons that are also lost to history. After doing some research, I did find out that the Austro-Hungarians had designed some machine pistols or some machine guns between the years 1917 and 18 and were planning to mass produce those submachine guns in 1918. But due to economic problems related to the war, the Austro-Hungarians never mass produced any of these secret submachine gun projects. Almost all of those submachine gun projects were lost with the exception of the Andreas Swirlos machine pistol, which was actually a joint project between Germany and Austria-Hungary. That weapon was found in 2014 and I actually covered it in a video all the way back then. But this weapon here, the Steyr Model 1918, is one of the other lost prototype Austro-Hungarian weapons that were confiscated by the Allied powers at the end of World War I and were simply lost to history, or in some cases they were destroyed on purpose after they were experimented with by by the victorious allies. So this weapon here, this weapon here is actually extremely rare. Today this weapon can be found at the Canadian War Museum in Ottawa, Canada, and it is one of the few Austro-Hungarian weapons in that museum. So this weapon here is literally one of the World War I weapons that were considered lost to history, but actually wasn't truly lost. It was just misplaced and can still be found in Canada and the modern day. So what do you think of this weapon, the Steyr Model 1918 Experimental Telescoping Bolt Submachine Gun? Please tell me in the comment section below. And until next time, this was J-Man Time signing off.